Welcome, yogis. Let's begin our class in a comfortable seated position on your mat. When you're ready, close your eyes. Begin to connect with your breath as you observe each inhale and exhale. As you open your eyes, let's do a seated cat cow with your hands on your knees. Inhale to lift your heart and expand your chest. As you exhale, round back, coil in. Inhale, lift your heart, reach forward. As you exhale, round back, tuck your chin. From here, let's come into Baddha Konasana. Bring the soles of your feet together. Wrap your hands around your toes. And as you inhale, sit nice and tall, lifting your heart toward the sky. Maybe this is deep enough. With each exhale, lengthening your spine. If you can fold here, you can begin to hinge at your hips. Gently lift up, extend the left leg, the right knee is bent. We're going to twist a little bit so that your chest is facing your left foot. And then if it's in your practice today, begin to fold. Maybe you reach for your toes. If you can't, you can always place the hands beside you and start to lengthen the spine. Really important not to round the back here. So only taking it as deep as you need to. As you begin to lift up, twist over to the right. Gently come back to center, sweep the left arm inside of your leg. Right arm reaches overhead as you twist from the navel, turn your chest and your eyes toward the sky. Lift up, let's switch sides. Right leg extends, left knee is bent, face the left leg or sorry, the right leg. And then as you begin to fold here, lengthen your spine as you inhale. Exhale, maybe you reach for your toes or you simply place your hands on the mat beside you. Gently lift up, twist over to the left. Sit up nice and tall. And as you exhale and come back to center, we're going to reach the right arm inside of your leg. Left arm sweeps overhead, twist so you can turn your chest toward the sky. Gazing up above. Inhale, lift back up. We're going to lengthen both legs out in front of you. So sitting on your mat with the legs stretched out, start by taking a big inhale and sitting tall. And then whenever you're ready, you can begin to hinge forward. Really important here not to push yourself farther than you need to go today. So maybe you simply sit up tall and that's all you do. Maybe you start to fold just a little bit with your hands beside the body or maybe you touch your toes. Wherever you're at today is perfectly okay. Go ahead and come to a tabletop position. We're gonna bring the right foot out in front, tuck the back toes. Coming into our low lunge here. Now you may be tempted to shift the hips forward. We're going to imagine like we're lifting the body up to the, toward the sky. Lifting the hips up toward the sky. Bring the right hand to your knee. As you reach the left hand back behind you, maybe you grab a hold of your back foot. It's okay if you can't. Come back to center, extend the front leg. Draw the right hip toward the space behind you as you reach your heart forward, continuing to breathe through all of the tension you may be feeling. I find it helps to point my toes here. It's an amazing stretch for your foot. Wiggle the right foot to the outer edge of your mat and lengthen the back leg. Hands can either stay planted on your mat or you can come all the way down onto your forearms for our lizard pose. Begin to press all the way back up and straighten the front leg. Lengthen the spine here, bend the front knee, take it back to tabletop and into child's pose. Finding a moment here to pause and reconnect with each inhale 
and exhale. As you begin to lift back up, step the left foot forward, low lunge on the other side. As you reach your fingertips overhead, imagine like you're holding on to something that is allowing you to pull your hips up toward the sky. From here, bring the left arm to your knee. Reach the right arm back behind you, maybe grabbing a hold of your foot. If you can't, you can just stretch the arm out behind you. Gently release, come back to center and straighten the front leg. It's okay here if you can't go super deep. We're just working on breathing through tension, especially if you're sore from hiking, then your legs are going to be a little more tight today. Maybe you add in the pointing of the toes for that super deep stretch in your foot. Begin to bend the front knee, wiggle the foot to the outer edge of the mat, lizard on the left side. Let the back leg straighten out. And then as you come into lizard, you can either have straight arms here or maybe you bring your forearms all the way to the mat. Gently press up, tuck the back toes, and fold over your front leg. Bend the front knee. Let's take it back and bring the right knee forward for our pigeon pose. Sitting up nice and tall first, and then when you're ready, you can exhale and fold. And you can come into as deep of a forward fold here as you'd like. You may prefer to sit upright or even come onto your forearms. Allowing yourself to reconnect once again with your breath. Maybe deep in that exhale. Allow your exhale to be as slow as possible. So you let go of any tension in your body. Gently lift up. Swing the left arm back behind, grab a hold of the back foot if you can, pulling the foot towards your body. As you release here, we're simply gonna switch sides. Bring the left knee forward, extend the right leg back behind you. Start by sitting up nice and tall as you inhale. And when you're ready, big exhale as you fold into pigeon on the other side. Lifting up slowly as you come into a seated position to roll all the way onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest. Plant the left knee as you extend the right leg all the way up to the sky. Just holding here, pressing the leg into your hands and flexing your right foot. Maybe you can walk your hands up the back of the leg as you draw it closer toward your chest. From here, bend the right knee, place the ankle over your left knee. Hold behind the left leg as you draw your legs in toward your chest. I like to use my right elbow to sort of push my right knee away from me here. As you plant the feet back on the mat, let's switch sides. Extend your left leg all the way to the sky, pressing through your heel as you flex your foot. And if it's in your practice today, you can always walk the hands up the back of the leg and draw your leg closer toward you. If 
bend your knee, place your ankle over your right knee, hold behind your right leg and draw the legs into your chest. Gently release everything and roll all the way back up to a comfortable seat on your mat. As we close today, bring your hands together in heart center and give gratitude to yourself for taking some space to practice yoga today and stretch out your tired and sore muscles. Let's close with a big inhale as you reach your arms overhead and a big exhale out the mouth as you draw your hands to heart center. Namaste.